Thanks for checking back in with us, folks. Another episode of Break the Chains news and info coming at you. I'm your host, Corey, and we got to be talking about what everyone else is talking about, Hurricane Irma and how it's heading right for uh, the continental U.S., particularly the southern tip of Florida. Um, right now, it's at a Category 4. It's coming in, and it's going to be making landfall maybe sometime on the 10th or the 11th. Worst case scenario is that it becomes a three-state landfall hitting Florida and then heading north towards the Carolinas, Chesapeake Bay, Virginia, uh, Maryland, and as far north as New York. I am personally concerned about what's going to happen as far as martial law, FEMA, National Guard, how many people are going to be deployed, how long it's going to take, and what kind of response is going to be necessary to deal with this kind of tragedy. Emergency services and volunteers in Houston are now going to have to deal with the same issue in Florida and on the East Coast. And that is a huge problem. But what's even bigger than that is if Hurricane Irma hits any of the nuclear power plants on the East Coast. I counted there was um, three nuclear power plants in Florida, and then as you travel further north, you run into about five to six more, potentially upwards of ten different power plants all along the East Coast. If Hurricane Irma comes in and lays waste to those nuclear power plants on the East Coast, we're going to have a problem in the Atlantic Ocean just as much as Fukushima is in the Pacific Ocean. Now, I would be safe to say that most of those nuclear power plants are already in shutdown mode or close to shutdown mode. They're not dumb people running those facilities. They know that there's a storm coming and they should be taking the necessary precautions to get that in a safe situation. And on top of all that, Fukushima was caused by an earthquake and a tsunami, not necessarily just a hurricane. So the hurricane does have a severe impact on the region and the landscape with uh, swells of water, flooding, and all that sort. If those cooling reservoirs are not adequately taken care of, that could cause an issue if tidal water does come inland. Everyone, make sure your family knows the evacuation plan. Make sure you know who you're going to get in contact with once you leave your house. The cell phone towers aren't going to be working. You're not going to have cell phone service. Martial law could be easily declared in any of those regions. National Guard shows up. Helicopters are dropping food. Everyone's in a panic. What are you going to do? Are you going to be prepared or are you going to be running scared? Have a bag. Have a plan. Be ready. Storable food. Storable water. Extra change of clothes. Emergency cash. Protection gear and safety equipment. Weather. Whatever that might mean to you, make sure you have something to defend yourself. Because times are going to get tough. Times are going to get rough. And if we don't start acting now and being smart about it now, it's going to be too late when it actually happens. And I'll tell you that much. So with that being said, I'm your host, Corey. I'm trying to bring the truth to you, bring reality to the window, this little four window box here. Like and subscribe if you like what we're doing, please. It's below, like in the description. I got my website there. Please check out what I'm doing. I love you guys. Thanks for your support. And again, we're breaking the chains of conformity, breaking the chains of normalcy breaking the chains of natural disasters and Hurricane Irma.